Ciao ora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to take you to a town that mixes Victorian era architecture, sci-fi steampunk and amazing wildlife. That's right, I am taking you to Oamaru on the south island of New Zealand with my absolute favorite things to do there. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to begin with, I want to address the Victorian era part of Oramaru with White Stone City. It's a great outdoor exhibition that will showcase some of the best architecture that Oramaru has to offer. Alternatively, you can just take a stroll around the city and discover it on your own. There is many amazing picture opportunities there. Speaking of picture opportunities, about 37 kilometers south of Oramaru, you will find the town of Moriraki. Moriraki is famous for the Moriraki boulders, which are massive bold shaped boulders left on the beach. There are about 50 of them and they're sure to make really unique picture opportunities. However, the activity is tide dependent, so make sure to check out the tide schedule before setting on the road. Next up on our list, we have what Omaru is probably the most famous for, and that's the Little Blue Penguin Colony. This activity is sure to dazzle adults and kids alike, as rafts and after rafts of little blue penguins are coming back at shore after a full day fishing at sea. It's an amazing wildlife event that is definitely worth witnessing when, when coming to visit New Zealand. Check it out! If you are considering yourself a little bit of a foodie, you may want to check out White Stone Cheese Factory in Oamaru, where you'll be able to sample some of the best award-winning cheeses that New Zealand has to offer. Trust me, it's amazing. If you're really into wildlife and want to check something different in Oamaru, you may want to check out Bushy Beach. The track is only about 10 minutes and will zigzag down the beach where you'll find hides, where you can, well, hide yourself and witness the amazing wildlife there. You will be able to see a seal colony as well as more penguins. So if you are a keen wildlife photographer, this is the place for you. Next up on our list, we have the Steampunk Museum. Um, if you don't know what steampunk is, it's basically a steam-powered sci-fi, I'd, I'd describe it as that. And in a steampunk museum, you'll be able to see amazing amount of items, exhibition, and, and just a lot of weird things that you definitely want to check out. It is a really cool place to visit, and it's not too expensive. Plus, if the weather is not playing ball and it is raining in Oamaru, well, it's a great place to go and hide for the from the rain for a few hours. Next up on our list, we have taking a roadie to the Waitaki Valley. The Waitaki Valley hides some of the best geological features of the South Island, or at least some of the most unique ones, including an amazing range of fossils at Vanished World. You definitely want to go check this place out if you are staying in Oamaru for a few days. It is a road trip not to be missed. That's everything for me in Oamaru. I hope that you did find this video useful. There is much more for you on nzpocketguide.com, so make sure to check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in New Zealand.